What's up there, YouTube? This is GDI Ranger 77 coming at you from beautiful Laughlin, Nevada. You can see the Colorado River behind me. Uh, this is a friendly reminder for the camping trip uh, July 11th through the 14th. Uh, just doing an update, um, kind of like a reminder. Uh, we're going to be camping Crystal Lake and the uh, San Gabriel Mountains, uh, Azusa, California. Um, you take Highway 39, follow it all the way up. You'll see the sign, turn off to Crystal Lake, take it up there. Sites are gonna be, uh, I believe they're 32, 33. I'll provide the, if it changes, I'll put it in the details below this uh, video. Uh, anyways, if you're coming up, uh, bring food, bring your beverages, uh, bring your own beer, of course. Uh, we're going to have a good time. We're going to have karaoke in the woods. We're going to have some movies, plenty of games. It'll be a good time. Um, one special request. Um, this year, I don't have much room for storage. Uh, so if any of you could bring up firewood, that would be a huge help. Um, I think we can get firewood there, but I'm not completely sure. Anyways, um, yeah, sites 32-33, bring up your food, bring up your drinks, beverages. We'll do some small hiking, uh, family friendly, kids okay, pets okay, just make sure they're on a leash. Um, plenty of games, karaoke, movies. All that sorts, all that sort of good stuff. Uh, I will. So, to find sites 32, 33, when you first turn into the campsite, uh, I'm gonna try to find some old footage that shows where to go. But follow when you first turn into the campsite. Follow go starts at site one. You're gonna follow all the way through. Once you start turning and start going over the little um, uh, drainage area, or it looks like there's a bridge, but there's not really a bridge, it's just a drainage area. You're gonna see a tree and you're gonna make an immediate right. There's two places you can make a right. You're gonna take immediate right, almost like you're gonna do a U-turn, sort of. But you're gonna follow that. It looks like a dead end, but it continues down. That's how you build the access um, sites 3233. If we get a whole bunch of people, then we may have to do more sites. Uh, the sites are $12 a night um, without an adventure pass. With an adventure pass, I believe they're $10 a night. Extra vehicles are $5 uh, per night, I think. Um, so, uh, you guys are responsible if you do an extra site or whatnot, uh, on extra vehicles. Um, how to find me. Uh, if you're too, if you're not familiar with the sites, uh, look for a white Nissan truck. I will have my red trailer. Um, it may be folded because it's a folding trailer. But anyways, uh, I will have flags up. I'll have American flag and, and so forth, an angel's flag. So be on the lookout for that. It's gonna be tied up to one of the signs and it's uh, pretty high up, so you'll be able to see it. Um, anyways, um, yeah, I hope to see you all there. Uh, kids are welcome, dogs are welcome. Be a fun family atmosphere. Uh, we'll have a good time. So I hope to see you all there and this is an update and this is GI Ranger 77 broadcasting from Laughlin, Nevada. And I'll see you later. Okay, so off the 210 freeway, you're going to exit off of Azusa Avenue. You're going to make a left to Azusa Avenue, Highway 39. And then from here, you're going to make a right on Azusa Avenue. So don't make a right on this bridge. Continue straight. This will take you up to the West Fork. You're gonna follow this road all the way up to the
Crystal Lake campgrounds that we'll go to. There's a campground before that called Cobra Campground, but that's the, not the campsite campgrounds that we'll be at. I'll uh, show you it in a little bit when we get closer. So this is the campground that we're not going to be camping at. It's the one further up. This is called Colbert Campground. But we won't be at this one. So keep on going straight. So we're here. You make a right. And you follow this road. This will take you to Crystal Lake. Alright, so you're gonna come up this road to Crystal Lake. parking we're gonna say that the overflow parking will be up here you just have to have an adventure pass a recreation pass which is just um, five dollars I think for the night I have to double check but I'll put the details in the video below So this site's also overflow parking too. So we can have people park here too overnight if we need to. Our campsite's gonna be over in this area here. All right. 